Did Leonardo da Vinci hide evidence of aliens with coded messages in his iconic paintings? Did he receive knowledge from some advanced extraterrestrial source? And to where did he disappear for two years? Let's find out. Leonardo da Vinci is often considered one of the greatest geniuses in the history of mankind. He was a profound painter, sculptor, architect, musician, engineer, inventor, anatomist, geologist, cartographer, botanist, and writer. His creative genius and his inventive spirit have left a mark in different fields of study and art. Da Vinci was a man with extraordinary caliber at everything he tried his hand at, almost defying human limits as we know them, with imagination unprecedented in history, but what made him supernaturally talented? Is there an explanation for the large number of controversies surrounding him? Why were those controversies formed? Was he using some sort of a supernatural source for his intellect and skill? Perhaps da Vinci was using something natural that is still unknown to us. In the 21st century, perhaps he was in contact with extraterrestrials. Let's start with one of his very first pieces of art, a drawing of the Virgin Mary, receiving the information regarding her supernatural pregnancy from an angel. As it turns out, Leonardo only painted the angel in the picture, while the rest of it was painted by his teacher and mentor, Andrea Baracchio. This painting created over 600 years ago was analyzed recently under X-ray imagery. The picture revealed that the angel in the image, the only element painted by Leonardo was invisible to X-rays. We've established that Leonardo was an expert in creating hidden messages, which we will decipher by analyzing some of his works, one by one, including his life. If we fast forward to the days when Leonardo was a renowned artist, famous in all of Italy, having created a variety of images, each hidden message, unknown to people of the time and probably to people of the present, we will discover that something strange happened according to historical records. What happened was, Leonardo da Vinci completely disappeared. For two years, between 1476 and 1478, Leonardo disappeared, and no records of his work or his presence are found in any historical accounts during the said time, which is all the more strange and awkward, considering that Leonardo was a very famous figure, and the historians of Florence recorded the happenings of Italy in crisp detail. When Leonardo finally came back his creative genius was on a completely different level, starting from 1479, when Leonardo's mentions were found again in history as he returned, his work took a massive climb, from being restricted to painting only, two inventions far ahead of their time, engineering mechanisms that are still studied extensively in machine design, study of human anatomy, and extremely well-detailed depictions of body functions, architecture, and even designs of aerial maps with a very high accuracy in terms of location and detail. So what was he doing? It is commonly theorized that he was being tutored being trained in his abilities to study nature and all that could be done with nature. Perhaps he was being educated by extraterrestrials, but what if the training started without him even knowing it, leading to him being the one chosen for this? Let us consider one of the most common methods of displaying and creating designs and models, 3D modeling, from all those non-human characters and aliens, you see in movies to sophisticated 3D engineering designs, and assemblies, as well as architectural structures developed via 3D modeling done on an average computer, now what if you had to make a model without using 3D technology, the closest guess would be drawing the models, and drawings by hand which takes skill, and an avid understanding and application of geometry, skills Leonardo certainly had and utilized in his creations, whether they be exotic paintings of people, or different views of a certain device Leonardo designed, it is worth noticing, that it comes off as a very convenient coincidence, that da Vinci an artist who earned fame, by drawing paintings and making sculptures for entertainment, happened to be an inventor, who would use his drawing skills, to make extremely well-explained blueprints of devices he had invented, his application of drawing skills being so advanced and thorough, that modern civil and mechanical engineers, as well as architects, take advanced courses just to make illustrative blueprints that upon inspection are very similar to what Leonardo made with his own illustrative techniques. 
Leonardo's knowledge of art and drawing and its application for development of it. This established the grounds on the basis of which Leonardo's exceptional depictions of humanoid robots were made, with synthetic muscles and skeletons that are still a matter of research in some of the most profound facilities in the world. Leonardo as previously established was a man who liked to hide messages in his work, as he hid the fact that the angel could vanish in the painting of Virgin Mary, he also used a handwriting technique called mirror writing simply put mirror writing is writing in mirror images, so the content can only be revealed upon very careful inspection, or by using mirrors, what if Leonardo used we are writing not only in text, but in imagery. Let's delve into some of his painting and art. The first piece of art that comes to anyone's mind upon hearing Leonardo's name is the famous Mona Lisa, simply a painting of a silk merchant's wife that happened to consume 16 years of Leonardo's life. Of all the paintings all the artists have ever painted, most of them beating the Mona Lisa in terms of detail, choice of color, and exotic attention, Mona Lisa stands out as something to think about something that catches the attention immediately and looking at it never fulfills one leaving the viewer with a feeling of being unsatisfied, as if there was more in the painting that you can't see, for example Mona Lisa's hands are placed right near her waist, pretty common, not so much if one simply makes a mirror image of Mona Lisa, using any graphic designing software, and joins it with the original under reduced transparency. An alien head can be seen very clearly right between Mona's arms and chin, it could be coincidence and maybe we're looking into it too much, but then again a very similar creature is clearly seen when the same technique is used in the painting the virgin and child with Saint Anne, and like Mona Lisa's hand, the image is formed only when the mirror and the original are joined at the location of the virgin's hand. In another painting the virgin of the rocks, the virgin's hands reveal, yet again, another similar figure. Using the same technique with The Last Supper, reveals a number of different images formed simply by mirror imaging. It's also worth mentioning a number of paintings feature space shuttles in the sky, the two years of Leonardo's disappearance, might have involved him traveling in, or witnessing an actual space vehicle as mentioned before Da Vinci's genius was not limited to his art or his paintings, but stretched to his inventions that were not only hundreds of years before their time, but also utilized sophisticated application of engineering that was totally alien to the Renaissance culture. Robotics is a field of engineering that is still considered very young currently, engineers are working extensively on figuring out means to make a legged robot walk like a normal animal, or person, even though we haven't had much luck simulating realistic jumping or running, Leonardo had almost achieved what we have now hundreds of years ago as he presented a full-scale mechanically powered model of a lion, with functioning limbs and joints, you might have observed that jogging is less exhausting compared to walking at the same speed as you're jogging, this is because when we jog our muscles store energy from each step and use it to power the next step, this is why tigers and leopards have a lot of stamina and speed, Leonardo da Vinci emulated energy regeneration in this robotic lion, so effectively that it could walk across an entire hall with just a push all by itself, scaring the spectators on sight. Worm gears are used in elevators and conveyor belts extensively in modern times, they basically used a rotating screw to power a gear, turns out da Vinci invented a prototype of the worm gear, in his time. Similarly Leonardo's flying machines are the basis of modern-day helicopters and propeller-run aircrafts. Not only that his breathing equipment that filters out air for usage underwater was replicated by British engineers and is often used by divers, even though Leonardo was a very famous figure of the Renaissance, each of his demonstrations recorded in extreme detail by historians, there is almost no record of his personal life, how he lived, what he liked, and what he did for entertainment. Leonardo himself did not keep any record of his personal life, but he did keep one instance recorded in. Extremely fine detail. 
As it turns out Leonardo was never admitted to any educational institution or academy, because his parents were not married, so he spent his younger days wandering around in the forest, he recorded the time when he found a cave in the forest, emphasizing his curiosity and mysterious nature of the cave and his desire to witness what was inside it. Even though he did not explain whether he actually investigated the cave or what he witnessed inside, it is very intriguing to think that Leonardo's discovery of this cave is one of the very few autobiographical details he has ever recorded. Leonardo's paintings and drawings in record right after his specified time of discovery of this cave depict humanoid creatures with deformed bodies and faces, this raises the immediate question, what did Leonardo observe to come up with these images? In conclusion a Leonardo da Vinci, often called the most genius man in recent millennium, was far ahead of his time, not only in terms of his skill and abilities, but was also perhaps a literal messenger of a species far beyond what we can comprehend. What are your thoughts leave us a comment in the section below, don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and notification bell to be notified of new content.